before we get into anything i would just like to say that we are all different individuals and we all have different techniques of studying that might just be the best for us i personally have different ways of studying depending on what i hope to achieve at the end of the day for instance when i'm studying on a normal day i have a different way of studying as opposed to when i'm particularly studying or preparing for an exam and my daily study routines kind of serve as the foundation on which my examination study routine builds on so in this video i'm going to be taking you guys through some tips and techniques that i personally use in studying and i do hope that you get to learn something and it helps you in studying one way or another you're welcome to my youtube channel guys my name is Tara. if this is your first time stopping by thank you so much and you're very much welcome to my returning subscribers thank you so much i really appreciate you all so without much i do let's just get right into this video a little introduction on how this video is going to be um it's going to be in two main steps the first one is talking about the tips and techniques that i use the second one is going to be taking you guys through a whole process of me studying but i'm going to summarize all of this so that we can be in and out of here as quick as we want to so the first thing the first tip or the first thing i do is tracking i basically love to track everything i study i'm such a detailed person like that i need to have a list of everything i have studied everything i need to study i need to have a list of how many times i have gone through a particular topic and how well i have studied that um initially i used to do this by writing down every single topic i needed to study within a time frame and then once i study something i take it so depending on how well i study it if i studied very well i take it in a green um not so confident about how much i studied it i take it in a yellow if i'm too confident and i know i have ace i'm going to ace that one i take it in a green so whenever i come back to study it i just add one more tick to it but in recent times i have evolved as all study techniques and study patterns should evolve i now use a spreadsheet that's a tip i learned from one of my favorite youtubers ali abdo you can quickly check him out i list all the topics on a spreadsheet and then once i study something i locate the dates i studied it and how well i studied it with the color patterns i have already told you about and then i allocate and the next date i would like to revise that so i usually revise things in a week sometimes two weeks sometimes three weeks so i allocate a date for that so it also serves as some kind of a steady timetable for me so it does three things it tracks what i study that becomes my steady timetable and it basically makes me know my strength and weaknesses when it comes to a particular course or a particular rotation the next thing i would like to talk about is lectures okay so i know so many of us love writing so much you enter into a lecture hall and before the lecturer even says day you already written that down so i am not a very big believer in writing every single thing down because i feel like certain things do not need to be written down for instance if he comes in and he tells you something like there are two eyes every human being has two eyes or most human beings have two eyes I know you know that that's something that you are going to find in basically every anatomy book you pick right so i don't feel like that's something you need to write down but when he says something that's quite specific like a statistic or something that's that's quite cumbersome and i know i wouldn't readily find that in a textbook now those are the things i write down and they, i usually write them down to help me set questions for myself that's one or to help me prepare flashcards now in talking about flashcards i brought a little prop along with me so basically i write things like this and then you turn that over and it has all the information i need this helps me so much in revising because you realize that you can't always be carrying your laptop or your textbooks around those textbooks are quite heavy you can always be carrying them around so flashcards are like my go-to and then i really love them you could also have digital flashcards there are so many apps you can download on your phone that could help you with it but i'm such a hard copy person i know that's not so great to the environment but it's actually something i'm trying to change now to move everything more digital so the next thing i'd like to talk about is the steady materials so basically steady materials are just the things that help me study i've showed you one already those are the flashcards the next thing videos 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 i don't know about you but i just love listening to people talk about things 
so even when i don't study and i go for group studies or something and i just see a group of people studying it whatever they say that's one really good way for me so that's as, as i said earlier in the beginning of this video it's very important you know what kind of it's what kind of person you are whether you're an auditory learner or a visual learner i really love hearing people talk about things and that just helps me keep that memory very well i love stories so that's just it so videos i usually i could watch a video before or after a lecture depending on how that goes sometimes you're not really taught everything in medical school they just give you some topics and you just have to go study that by yourself and you present to the doctor later on so watching videos before i study from a textbook or something kind of gives me a preview of what to expect when i'm studying so it has this overview of what to expect and what to study in the process the next thing would have to be textbooks um for me i love studying from textbooks so much even though it can be so time wasting in recent times i've tried to cut down on that a bit because you honestly do not have so much time to be going through textbooks i love to buy so many textbooks before coming to medical school i literally bought every single textbook prior to coming to medical school but the textbooks here are so many so expensive and you can't have every single one of them so i choose and pick the ones i would have to i want to have in hard copy and for the rest you just have to study them in soft copy and what i do is i like to highlight stuff as i study them most people once again like writing every single thing and i do understand that there's a technique to that as you keep writing a definition as you keep writing something your brain just kinds of picks up on that people love to write things down as they are looking at them and their brain just kind of picks up on that but i like to use color patterns and highlights just on the textbooks when i'm studying and what i do is that i have a separate book where people will take notes i set questions so when i read a definition what i do is i don't write down that let's say um suddenly forgotten all the definitions in medicine let me see. So, angiomyolipoma. Instead of writing what angiomyolipoma is, I ask myself, what is angiomyolipoma? So, when I'm done studying a particular topic, I just take that book. You realize that I have so many questions. And all I do is I read a question. I try to recall because you're challenging your brain to remember certain things. And that's the best way to study. And it's actually a technique called active recall where you constantly challenging your brain to try to remember something you have studied you will not always get that right especially in the beginning but that's the fun part the more difficult it is for you to remember the more you are actually studying it and that's the tricky part of it so the next study material i use are my lecture notes or the powerpoints given to us by the doctors or by the lecturers or the teachers so in recent times i love lecture notes i love the powerpoints they give us even more than the textbooks because most of the times their questions for examinations are going to come from that are going to come from the things they say in the lecture so i rarely miss lectures i'm not the type of person who would just basically stand up and decide not to go to a lecture because i feel like most lecturers or most doctors say things in their lectures that they haven't necessarily put in their powerpoints and that's quite intentional as well so i love attending lectures and then studying their powerpoint as a guide or something to build up on my foundation of studying a particular topic for instance the next thing would have to be the question bank you'll actually be amazed at how many people in the world set random questions on the internet about something you're trying to study so question banks random questions off the internet um, on a particular topic sometimes you have certain books that have the question banks of those books i know like um ganon physiology for instance has a question bank of it if you're not really in medical field you really you really wouldn't know some of the books i'm talking about but that's that's really not the point i'm just trying to say that you can get question banks of books and you can of the textbooks you study with and then it's much easier because they ask you questions they have explained in their textbook already and the next thing is studying with past questions and the next thing is the questions i have basically set myself as i was studying a particular topic for instance so that brings us to the end of the study tips and the study techniques now we're going to move on to the study process itself hey guys so the video was getting a little too long so i decided 
to make the study process into a part two so kindly do well to check back on this channel in a couple of days the part two of this would be uploaded that brings us to the end of this video guys thank you so much for watching the video up to this point i really do hope you have learned a thing or two if you have any questions or any suggestions please do not feel free to leave that in the comment section i love replying to your messages and also clarifying up certain things if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are notified once i put up any video thank you so much once again love you guys see you in my next video